السلام عليكم يا هلا وسهلا مرحبا بكم من جديد Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me here. To any new subscribers, thank you and welcome. Um, I'm going to try to make this really quick because now I'm driving. But we are headed to a national bully awareness um, event or, well, October. We're here in October and this is um, National Bully Awareness Month. So. For that purpose, we are going to an event called Stomp Out the Bullying, and I wanted to bring you all along, inshallah. If I'm allowed to record there, I will uh, do my best to bring awareness of bullying to others, um, because I strongly believe that bullying doesn't just happen in public schools. Um, I do know that it happens on the workforce, it happens in the office, it happens, um, it could happen in your local neighborhood, it could happen anywhere, bullying is bullying, and a lot of people attribute it to um, public schools because that's where the most light is shed on that topic. However, I'm coming today to bring awareness to the fact that bullying can happen anywhere. So I'm going to turn the camera off here because I probably should not be recording and driving. And um, I will see you all there, inshallah. Alright, so while we are driving, I'm just going to do this um, voiceover to explain a little further what is going on. So a friend of mine sent the link, or, well, she sent the address and the information to let me know that there was in fact a program or something like that where a discussion would take place about bully prevention or bully awareness and I did not know what to expect. Turns out it was in a dojo for Taekwondo. And here we are. Very good job. So what did you guys see that he did that might have been good? His name, yeah. What else? He shook his hand. Was he a limp noodle? Was he trying to hurt him? Just a nice firm handshake. We talked about that. That's one thing to talk about, right? What else did he do really well? It's actually a really important thing. Nobody really even thinks about it. He looked him in the eyeballs. If he was looking at the ground, he doesn't look as confident. He was looking him in the face and he was talking to him just like you guys should. So we are actually going to all introduce ourselves since we don't know each other. Uh, so you guys can kind of introduce us to each other. If you know each other, you don't have to introduce yourselves. But. Um, to your son. <laughs> so you're going to introduce yourself to one another. The key is going to be you actually have to introduce yourself to one of the adults in the room as well. All right, so while I appreciate the Taekwondo Dojo opening up to this topic and offering free, you know, one hour class on blocks, kicks, and hits, I didn't imagine that this is what this session would be about. I imagine we would sit at a table and discuss bullying, what it is, how to prevent becoming one, and how to overcome your bully if you fall victim. Not to say they didn't cover it at all, but it was pretty textbook examples that I found didn't apply to our lives. Like, most people paint a picture of bullying in a school hallway near the lockers, but that is not always the case. For starters, we are homeschoolers, so there is no locker <laughs> in our hallway. But, on a more serious note, when someone is a bully, they set out to intimidate you, coerce you into doing things that you do not want to do. And when you let them know that it's something that you're not wanting to do, they resort to cause you harm. Sometimes, even if you do it, even if you go along with what the bully is making you do or forcing you to do, sometimes they'll still try to further harm you because the illness is like the problem is within them and it is a form of mental illness or a disturbance within themselves so I was gonna say they resort to cause you harm if you don't go along with it or if you don't comply but sometimes it's a lose-lose situation 
whether it is verbal, like if they get in your face and basically cuss you out or fuss at you and tell you what they want you to do or cyber if it's online you know whether it's texting emailing um chatting you could be on a game you know and the person on the other line or on the other end can you know accost you that's cyberbullying or if it's mental or physical a bully will only stop once you stand up for yourself you know and the hardest part about the entire situation is often because bullies control their victims. So they gave us pizza here and a little show. And um, here's the pizza and the show is coming up in a second. So we just left out of there and it was, I didn't expect it, I did not expect it to be that, um, taekwondo, I, the, I did not expect for it to be a taekwondo class and it turned out better than what I imagined. Um, now I'm about to go call my sister, but I will, uh, insert some clips or you probably have already seen them depending on how, um, on how I edit this video because I did record while we were in there so I will catch up with you all later and um, yeah depending on how this is edited it will depend on how this ends either with a voiceover or I will see you all in the next video Assalamualaikum if you would like to hear more on bullying I was actually thinking about sharing my story of being bullied and yeah I don't know I'll give it some thought but if you would like to hear more Hit that thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. Come again.